Hello. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff happening in the world and I wanted to share something super sweet and, you know, very cottagecore like and just something really serene and pleasant with you to just ease your anxiety a little bit. I know you haven't heard from me in a really, really long time, so I do have a few announcements if you want to stick around towards the end of the video. I have some news to share, but yeah, let's, let's get into it. So this is how to make an indoor water fountain. I'm gonna show you the very bare minimum of fountains. Um, I, I just wanted mine just for the sound, and it does the job. A large bowl, large enough so that the pump can be completely submerged in water. The pump that I got is from Amazon for, I think it was like 10 bucks when I bought it, and it comes with a, a tube that you could potentially use if you wanted like a higher fountain. But I just have this little mini one, so I don't use the, the extra tubing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that pump and you're gonna place it wherever you want with the suction cup facing down like that so I mine in the center and then I bought these rocks from Michaels they come in t like these big plastic packs like this I got two of them uh, two different colors of rocks I got uh, more of like a natural colored stone and then also a greenish stone because I have a lot of green in my apartment and mix them all together and you can definitely play with the appearance of how many stones you'll want in there um, but I just basically cover it so that, I cover the pump so that it's, you know, not visible. Basically, I bought this from the dollar store. Basically just rinsed it out really good and I'm gonna put them back in there. I'm gonna go add some water. So as you can see, here's the opening of the pump. And I'm just gonna add enough water so that it covers the pump. It's completely up to you how much water you wanna add. I just do it enough so that the water actually filters through the pump and it doesn't sound weird. You'll know when you don't have enough water because it, it doesn't sound as pleasant. So you could test it by plugging it in. Just be careful not to get your cord you know, wet and get electrocuted to keep the, the end of your cord dry. So one thing to know about the glass bowl is that it'll show like it'll show um, water spots and there might be like some griminess from the rocks. That's okay. Just clean it pretty often. Um, use hot water. I was actually using Windex and it helped a little bit. Um, but be aware that that'll happen if you get a glass bowl. I don't know. I, I haven't tried any other uh, materials, so you might find something that works a lot better. I was thinking that once things calm down in the world, I might, if there's like a flea market or a thrift store, definitely go and try and find a better bowl that's more decorative, I guess. And then I'll probably use that glass bowl for a fruit or something after deep cleaning it. But yeah, it's been really nice to have, uh, especially early in the morning when I'm like crafting or, you know, just sitting at my desk, having a cup of coffee, it's, it's really nice. On the pump, you can also adjust the size of the, um, the size of the, waterfall <laughs> i think i have mine somewhere towards the lower middle and yeah i hope you enjoy this video and if you buy if you end up making one you can definitely tag me in it on instagram or twitter or wherever on the social medias um i'd love to see what you make so how is everyone that's a stupid question i know how everyone's doing it's craziness in the world right now um, but I hope that you are handling it okay and I hope you and your family are safe and and yeah um, I've been keeping myself busy through various crafts and whatnot and 
since I am on furlough from work, I I kind of got into some new some new hobbies. And because I have all these new hobbies, I, I'm looking for outlets to share them. So I actually made an entirely new website uh, where I can blog and share all these different projects that I work on. And I'll do like some how-to stuff and kind of share what's been inspiring me lately. And, and yeah, so if you want to check it out, I'm really, really excited about it. It's kind of going to be my artistic playground where I can just design whatever I want. It'll be my place to explore, you know, with graphic design and photography and videos and, and all this fun stuff. If you want to check it out, it's called curtiescuriosities.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description and I hope you join me on this little blogging adventure. You know, I've tried blogging in the past, but I haven't really taken it seriously, but I'm really gonna try to give it a go because um, I feel like I have a lot to share design wise and I I like having a community online and I think this will help me connect with you all so yeah I'm really excited about it <sighs> also I got engaged over uh, Christmas of 2019 and um, obviously to Chris my fiance <laughs> uh, we've been together for many years now. We were supposed to get married actually this month in July and obviously with the pandemic we're pushing it out so we're shooting for April to 2021 and I'm really excited about it obviously but it's hard to plan you know but yeah I really I it's good to be posting again you know I have the ability to kind of get back to my artistic roots and really try out new outlets of creativity and um, making videos is something that I've always enjoyed so I'm glad that I have this time to actually sit down and make a video so I hope I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you again soon <laughs>